Hello everyone, this question has been taken from Olympiad Pathfinder Chapter 2 Multiple Choice Question Number 6 The question is A light inextensible string of length 15 meter is hanging between two pegs that are 9 meter horizontally apart as shown in the figure. This figure is given. A small frictionless pulley of weight WP 4.8 Newton Supporting a block of weight WB, 8 Newton is gently placed on the string and allowed to move gradually to a place on the string where it can stay in equilibrium. The radius of the pulley wheel is negligible. As compared to the length of the string. Which of the following conclusions can you make when the pulley is in equilibrium? So there are four choices which is given. It is giving that level difference of the peg. Let us say peg A and B. We give the name. Level difference of the peg is 4 meter. Means height difference between A and B is 4 meter. Tensile force in the string depends on the level difference of the pegs. Saying that after placing this on the string, the string will come in tension due to which it will have a tensile force which will depend on that level difference of A and B in this direction, in the vertical direction. Tensile force in the string is 8 Newton irrespective of the level difference of the peg. The third choice is tensile force in the string with this weight will always be 8 Newtons irrespective of a and B position related to each other in vertical direction. Horizontal is 9 meter all the time. Lengths of that string segments on left and right sides of the pulley are 10 meter and 5 meter respectively. So let us solve this problem. Let us try to solve this problem. So what will happen? When the weight is added to string, means the pulley is kept gently on it, the whole string will come in tension. And string will take this shape. Since the string is inextensible. Inextensible means the length of the string, whether in this shape or this shape, the total length will remain same. That is 15 meter. First thing. Second thing is light. It is light in weight means a string does not have any mass. We can consider for our calculation purpose. Okay. So if we say this as O point where the pulley and mass is kept and the whole system is in equilibrium and this AO is L1 and OB is L2. So from question L1 plus L2 will be 15 meter first equation let us say that this one is making an angle of alpha alpha and this one is making beta with the vertical so this angle will be alpha and this angle will be beta. So if we take the component of L1 in the horizontal direction,
D A B C C. Okay, let us say this point C and this point D. So from triangle A C O, C O will be equal to L one sine alpha. and od will be equal to l2 sin beta if we add these two together so co plus od will be l1 sin alpha plus l2 sin beta and co plus od is the cd and cd is 9 meter the gap between the peg in horizontal direction is 9 meter so we can write this equation as l1 sin alpha plus l2 sin beta is equal to 9 this is number 2 equation now we will take the vertical component of all the forces acting at point o so in this direction tensile force will be there this side also tensile force will be there so first in the vertical direction so t sin t, t cos alpha the component of t in vertical direction T cos alpha that's this tension T cos beta will be equal to the WP plus WB which is twelve point eight Newton. because point o is in equilibrium there is no movement so this is equal to 12.8 newton there might be one questions coming in the students mind that why t and t is on this side and on this side is so on saying this is because this string is light it does not have any mass in it though it is having in practicality but here in this case it has been said that it is very light and light means no mass so tension will be in a light string will always remain the same through and through at any point next point we will take that component of tensile force acting at o in the horizontal direction so t sin alpha is equal to t sin beta because o is in equilibrium even in the horizontal direction as it was in the vertical direction no movement of o so from here you got alpha is equal to beta this is equation 4 from equation 2 and 4 means when we put the value of beta as alpha so then equation 2 will become l1 plus l2 sin alpha will come as common 9 and sin alpha will be l1 plus l2 you know 15 meter 
so sin alpha will be 9 by 15 or we can cut and write it like this 3 by 5 therefore cos alpha will be 4 by 5 why do we need to this cos alpha because we are to use in equation 3 equation so now we will use from equation 3 and 4 we can write t cos alpha plus t cos alpha is equal to 12.8 means 2t cos alpha 12.8 t is equal to 12.8 by 2 cos alpha put the value of cos alpha 4 by 5 so 12 by 8 2 into 4 by 5 so this will when you calculate it will come as 8 newton because 4 to the 8 8 1.6 1.6 into 5 will be 8 newton so you got tension force as 8 newton And this one we have equated from the equations where L1 and L using the equations where L1, L2 is not known. So it means tensile force in the string depends on the level difference of the pegs will be wrong. So B answer is not there. Tensile force in the string is 8 Newton irrespective of level difference of the peg. So C answer will be correct. So one of the answer is C. Level difference of the peg is 4 meter. Which we cannot say because the tensile force in the string is independent of the level difference of the pegs. So A is also wrong. Length of the string segments on left and right sides of the pulley are 10 meter and 5 meter respectively. Again, we cannot confirm on it because the tension force what we have got using the equation where we have not kept any, we have not assumed any value of L1 and L2. So it means it is independent of L1 and L2. So we cannot confirm on this that we should, it will be left hand side, it will be 10 meter and 5 meter on the right hand side. So only answer which is correct is answer C. So hopefully you understood how did we conclude the answer. In case at any point you have a doubt, please write in the comment box. Especially stress or highlight on your point where you could not understand so that it will be easier for me to present in a better way to you guys to understand it thank you